Karashi I. The anime starts off with Zenitsu the killer and Hisako the bounty hunter meeting in an underground parking lot. They got into a very bit of a scuffle, and then Zenitsu overpowers her, having the privilege to be on top. When he was seemingly about to grab a gun, what he instead got was a phone. Out of the blue, he started flirting with Hisako, taking a picture of her, and asking her name. Fun fact, Zenitsu and Hisako are only their aliases, their real name is Song Ryang Ha and Chatu Dankworth. Song Ryang Ha is an assassin of an unknown origin and affiliation. He was responsible for the dissolution of a powerful and influential organization in the underworld. Because of his infamy, a lot of organizations have given a bounty to his head. Ryang Ha was also shown to be pretty capable, strong and experienced. Chatu Dankworth. Chatu is a Kudare bounty hunter that has no memories of anything other than her name when she was taken in by the Dankworths. The tragedy begins by the time they met in the underground. Both of them are killers and wanted, so having peace is hardly an option. Although in reality, the tragedy already began years ago, since they already met each other at one time. If they ever come into a relationship, almost nothing really awaits them other than death. As aforementioned, one of the plot twists in the story was that Ryang Ha and Cha Tu already met each other ages ago. Song Ryang Ha was actually a name he took from his, I guess, his so-called friend or savior that was accidentally killed by Cha Tu. In the end of the anime's airing, we were left with a bunch of questions. The family or lineage of Cha Tu. The real name and identity of Ryang Ha. His backstory, etc. I wonder if the only reason why he protects Cha Tu was to continue the mission of the real Ryang Ha. But if that was the case, then he could have surrendered her to Donnie and his group. So I wonder if there's more to it. Well, we can only find out soon. My favorite character in the series is this little fella. Especially if he's with director Sun. Aside from his personality, I very much so love his accent. In terms of the romance aspect of the story, we are still not there. Ryang Ha does not yet harbor any feelings toward Cha Tu. On the other hand, I'm not sure, but I think we can see little inklings for Cha Tu. This is normal, since it's still the first season, but hopefully, there comes a good development for it. If you want a refreshing romance story, then you should definitely check it out. Although, keep in mind that it doesn't really focus heavily on the romance part yet. But instead, on the action and mystery. If you want to hear the voice actor of Zenitsu and Connie teasing and making fun of a girl, then Song Ryang Ha is here. Karashi I, or Love of Kill, is absolutely my favorite out of all the anime that I've watched last winter. It was something that I was highly anticipating every week.